we are one of the last generations of Homo sapiens. Within a century or two, Earth will be dominated by entities that are more different from us than we are different from chimpanzees. Yeah. What the hell does that mean? That freaked me out. Artificial intelligence. In fact, a lot of people who work in artificial intelligence believe that artificial intelligence is a thousand times smarter than we are. It will be moving at speeds that are a hundred thousand times as fast as we think, and it will be digesting information and data a million times more than we can. What is artificial intelligence? There are a lot of confused ideas about this outside in the world. But the answer is very simple. It's one sentence. Artificial intelligence is software that writes itself. It writes its own updates. It renews itself. We normally tend to think of software as stuff that we created and that we wrote and the machines do what we tell them to do and we own it. This is not any longer true. It writes itself at speeds that we can hardly comprehend and people who write it know that you can't take it apart again and figure out what it's done. It writes independently, autonomously. It develops its own way of thinking and there are dangers associated with that. So a lot of people ask, when is it going to happen? When is artificial intelligence going to be smarter than us people? Some people say 50 years. Some say 30 years. Some say five years. I say it already has surpassed us in many areas of our society. Let's take, for example, some, uh, some examples from right here and now. And uh, I apparently have to point this. Goes. OK. The examples that we're going to talk about are not science fiction. They're not visions. They aren't things that are going to happen at some point. They are things that exist today, for example, in the stock markets, whether Frankfurt or Tokyo or New York or London. Our society, a heart of our financial community. And no one understands exactly how these algorithms function. They used to understand them, but they've been improved by artificial intelligence. And where it's most critical of all, we're, we're talking about life and death is in medicine. Computers are better than we are as human beings in several areas already today. We're talking about here and now. This is not science fiction. I'm speaking next week at the uh, Universitätsklinikum in Essen. And their radiologists, who are supposed to be some of the best radiologists in Germany, they say that a computer can recognize a tumor on an MT or a CT, MRT or CT faster and better and more precisely than a human being can. This image was taken 17,500 feet above Quantico, Virginia, and covers 15 square miles. This whole image is at a very, very fine resolution. So if we wanted to know what is going on in any spot along this image, say near this building at this intersection, everything that is a moving object is being automatically tracked. The color boxes represent that the computer has recognized the moving objects. You can see individuals crossing the street. You can see individuals walking in parking lots. There's actually enough resolution to be able to see the people waving their arms or walking around, what kind of...